My name is Professor Gavin Brunel and I'm currently acting head of discipline of the zoology and ecology degree programs in the School of Biological Earth and Environmental Science, commonly shortened to bees, in the University College Cork in Ireland. Every year we bring 40 to 45 students here on a field course around about this time, around just before Easter or just after Easter, in order for them to experience field ecology in a, in a different environment to the one they would normally see in Ireland. Of course it has the added advantage that normally the weather like today is sunny and students can work in shorts and t-shirts and more importantly the animals are active and behaving and they can get a good spectrum of activity in, in the seven days that we spend here. We've been coming here for 17 years as I said and in that time we've noticed some changes take place particularly in one of the in the area behind me you can see part of the National Park of the Ria Formosa where there is a very interesting animal the Uka Tangiri the fiddler crab European fiddler crab and this animal uh, is uh, nice for study for students because it shows a stereotypic range of behaviors and in a very short space of time students are able to come to grips with their behavioral ecology and get some useful data on this in particular the fiddler crab density and sex ratio have changed. We think that part of the reason for this is based on human activity. For one thing, the humans are exploiting the fiddler crabs, the male fiddler crabs, for their large claw, which are eaten as a delicacy in this region. And as you can imagine, removing the claw from a fiddler crab is pretty, pretty dramatic. It's the very best that can happen is that the male crab may survive and slowly regenerate that claw, but during that time, He's basically perceived by the rest of the population as a female and is not able to fulfill his normal role in courtship, etc. Also, more disturbingly, uh, there's been a general decline in numbers at some of the sites that we use with our students. And this seems to be connected with a lot more human activity, some of it like tourism related activity like jogging and cycling, also others more locally uh, like amateur clam diggers who are coming in and illegally fishing for uh, marine bivalve mollusks which are again are a local delicacy. These are unlicensed clam diggers as opposed to the licensed ones and they seem to be causing a problem locally. There has been a suggestion that the current recession is increasing their activity as they look to add to their income over their normal um, way of making money here. As part of their portfolio of activities during the week, the students undertake a project at the end for the last two days, during which time they go back and revisit one of their project days, one of their days that they've looked at and concentrated on it in more detail. These students that we're going to be looking at in a minute have been focusing in on the fiddler crab and we're going to look at two contrasting sites. In the first site, the students are looking at what we would think was an undisturbed natural population where the crabs are relatively free of disturbance apart from the odd car going by. In the second site, we'll see that the uh, foreshore has been turned up and churned up a bit by people walking across the beach or maybe digging for clams locally. And in this way, the only crabs that appear to be surviving are those right at the top of the beach where they're away from this activity.